Hello everyone, uh, this is Patty at Kevin Fever Soaps and Essentials and my granddaughter Brianna and I are going to just do a quick video on making an um, Moroccan Argon Soap. It's one of our pure and simple lines um, and it has uh, um, olive oil which is uh, virgin olive oil, it doesn't pumice, and then argon oil, and that is all the oils that we put in there. Plus I got some Moroccan clay um, hydrated in the olive oil that I measured out, and then this is olive leaf powder. I thought that would go really good. Um, very, very good for your skin, and I'll try to do a blog on it later. Let's get started. Mixing the lye water with uh, olive oil and our argon oil is going to be our super fat. Missed it that. That's why we use a, a sieve. Try to get it mixed in there good. Okay. And before I get started, I am going to get another, um, <coughs> oh, i just rinse out this one. He likes doing a lot of dishes, not me. Anyways, this will be for um, the little swirl that will be in there. Usually if you're making Castell soap, which was 100% uh, olive oil, it takes a while for it to come to trace. But I want to have it truly incorporated before I super fat with my argon oil. super fat in. Kind of hard doing things when you're left-handed and you switch it around. Get 
get every bit of that great, fantastic oil. put the olive leaf in now on all of it. This is so good for the skin, especially if uh, there is any abrasions or skin issues, um, eczema, psoriasis, uh, even really good for in the summertime if you get into poison ivy, poison oak. It's very soothing to the skin. And I'm sure that they have a lot of olive trees in Morocco. So now, what I'm going to do Pour this. Yeah. In here to separate. Mm -hmm. and put the Moroccan clay in here. Kids in the background playing with Tater. Get all that goodness out of there. give it a little bit of color, but we really want to make it uh, as if we were in Morocco and we decided we were going to make some soap and use ingredients out of that region. Yes, and there will be a little bit of bits and pieces, which I think is makes it look interesting. Little flakes on that side of the soap. We're going to do a little bit of a swirl on it. <coughs> but clay is very good for uh, drawing out impurities of the out of the skin and also soothing. Um, and then. And Soothing skin if you have any kind of skin issues. So let's see. Give it a little bit more mix. And we're not going to add any type of fragrance to it since it would be on our pure and simple line. And usually Castell and Bastel soap, uh, usually nine months to a year of aging. 
So we're making it just before uh, New Year's Eve of 2016. So it'd be pretty near close to being ready for Christmas next year. Love those little red specks in there. We want it to come up a little bit more. Let's see how this is doing. And this is yeah, anyways. I see a little bit of green specks in here, but they will probably turn tan as the months go by. But let's give it another little buzz and we'll pause you. Well, we are back and we're getting ready to pour. And I think it might be a little bit easier if I just pour a little bit there. Do this. This is my new mold from Brambleberry, and I thought that maybe I can get the same type of size and it'd be easier to store. Very, very good for your skin. Of course, the Moroccan women are very famous for their beautiful skin. They must know something. Just enough to keep the a little bit warm temperature. It's in the winter time here in Iowa, so it's pretty cold. Well, I will take a picture after we unmold it, and everyone have a wonderful day. And make sure um, if you like watching these videos from Crazy Hillbilly. And you push the subscribe button. Alright, everybody stay warm. Talk to you later.